Trent, uh, yesterday, uh, Coach Underwood mentioned today was, you know, kind of a toughness game. Yeah, you know, after after Maui, how do you feel like maybe you know you guys you know took on that challenge? Um, I think he meant by that is by you know <clears throat> obviously coming back from Maui 0 and three, you know we're we're, mental, we're physically tired and you know our bodies are are in that that time time cycle, so just coming out here and doing what we do and um, just getting better as a team, you know, and I'm just focus on what we do as a team and what we do in his system and just working on our things to get better. And so I think that's what he meant by toughness. Do you feel like tonight's game was kind of a get right game heading forward going in road games against Notre Dame and Nebraska coming up? Yeah, for sure. Um, like I said, Tim, um, you know, just coming out here, doing what we do, um, staying together, not just going out there, just playing because we're playing a, a bad team, but um, just, you know, <laughs> But, you know, uh, just doing what we do as a team and just getting better and, um, and staying focused, and I think that's what we did tonight. Billy Io, it looked like he was going to let you guys maybe work through some things on the court, Coach Underwood, without saying a lot. Did you feel that too, and how do you guys feel like you did with that? Uh, I think we did um, pretty well with it. Coach Underwood um, let us get through some, um, some adversity on the court. I mean, early, he was like 25, 24, you know. Coming back from Hawaii, getting our legs back, so um, this is expected. But this is about the response. Um, I, I feel like the second half and into the first half, we picked it up pretty well, um, and we we played better. Uh, this is for anyone, but no secret, Kipper kind of struggled in Maui. What did you kind of see out of him tonight and trying to get things going again? I thought um, he made um, the shots that was given to him. Um, he just played his game. That's all. It's about confidence, just playing your game. Um, Kip is a great player, so. When you see the ball going uh, in the net a couple of times, that's how you um, pretty much get out of your um, struggles. Demonte, what did maybe this team just do better you know, as the first half progressed to you know, start pulling away? Uh, I feel like we competed more um, on the glass um, and playing harder than what we did the first half. You know, uh, obviously the first half we came out a little sloppy. Uh, but we started to pick things up and ended up coming out with the victory. Defensively, uh, Coach Underwood has kind of been maybe stressing, you know, guarding the ball better. Just what steps you guys need to take uh, to just continue to improve there? Uh, I don't really think it's no steps. We just got to man up and just guard our yard. You guys took a lot of three pointers tonight. Was that in the game plan, or I mean, it seems like you guys are having quite a bit of fun doing it. I mean, I felt like they was playing like a like kind of like a matchup zone. So at the end of the day, we work on um, shooting the ball every day. So like we got to shoot with confidence. Some nights like it's not your night. Like I think tonight I went over three from three point line. But I mean, it's about that's just how basketball is. Some nights it's not your night, and you got to affect the game in um, different ways. Was there a point that you realized that you know maybe your shot wasn't falling, and then you ended up with the nine assists and nine rebounds, or how you know how did you feel like you could affect the game elsewhere? Oh, yeah, um, I feel like I could affect the game in um, different ways. Um, I feel like my team um, was making shots early, like DeMonte was getting going. So I wanted to um, get in the lanes and um, kick it out to him. But if I'm open, I, um, of course, I keep shooting. I never lose confidence there because I put so much work into it. But I felt like that um, my team was making um, a lot of shots. And um, so I just wanted to keep, keep them going. Monte knocked down a couple threes tonight. So did Andres. Um, moving forward, how do you feel about about the three balls a part of your game and 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 helping using it to help guys like Trent who uh, usually shoulder more of that burden? Uh, knocking down shots uh, that's part of the game, um, but I really like to be a downhill player. But uh, being able to spread the floor out like that, knocking down shots, will make it easier for Iowa and Trent when they drive the ball. So. What, uh, open up the lane to where my man can help. This could be for anybody, but rebounding, you guys won the rebounding battle tonight, something that you kind of struggled to do over the past couple of games. Is that something you guys focused you know, on, especially in practice, and, and what can you do to kind of keep that going? Um, <clears throat> it's something we do. You know, um, I think uh, two games before in Maui, you know, um, that we didn't do that. So I, I, uh, we kind of struggle on offense with that. But um, rebounding just helps our offense, you know, us, help us get out and transition and score in seven seconds. So I just think, um, you know, Io had nine rebounds tonight. You know, uh, other people getting in there and rebounding just helps the transition more. And, um, you know, just rebounding as a team is always going to be what we do.
I uh, you guys ran the the two big sets a lot tonight um, compared to how you guys have to start mm -hmm. the season. Um, what did you kind of see from that? How did you feel? Do you like that? I mean, I, I feel I could play with anybody. I feel like our team is um, we have a great team. So whatever five Coach Underwood put out there, um, I feel like he um, he has the best interest for us, and because um, like he's a great coach. So at the end of the day, um, AD and Georgie, um, you know, AD he's seven foot, really big, so he could he could move out of um, move the opposite defenders out the lane when we drive in and then it opens up um kicks and then like when he boxes his man out um it helps us go in and help rebound could be for anybody uh what did you just think of samba kane in his first minutes of action today um <clears throat> big time. it was a big time um i think that's what it is he, he has to gain his confidence um right now um i think he's still struggling with that but um you know me and the guys are we're helping him out with that every day in practice you know we're getting on him, but you know it's it's for his his um, health. You know we're better him as a player, and um, he's growing. So uh, we're very proud of him, and, and we're looking forward to um, him taking steps forward every day in practice, and just getting in the game when he gets in the game, do what he do, does, and help us as a team. I think he played well. We got one in the back, Andrew. <laughs> Trent, you guys um, proved it against Gonzaga that you can compete with these um, high-level teams. So how important is um, Tuesday's game going to be to kind of reinforce that? Uh, it, very important. You know, I think we can p compete with anybody. Um, I think it starts on the defensive end where we, where we um, sit out and guard. Like Monte said, you know, just being able to guard, guard your yard and, you know, just being focused and dialed in on that. I think that's where it starts. You know, um, I think we're the best offensive team in the country. We can score any time we want. So, um you know, um, offensive, offensively, that's not really our biggest thing right now. Defensively, we, we uh, got to dial in and focus in on more on that. Important thing is we got that one over with. Um, it's a challenging game. It's a hard game. I learned from experience two years ago that the game back from Maui is not easy. Uh, we had, actually had two or three more days and uh, to recover. Uh, we were a very tired basketball team. And uh, knew that going in. Uh, not to take anything away from Mississippi Valley or anybody else, but um, uh, we knew that this would be a, a game that we would have to grind through physically and mentally. Uh, Friday in practice, uh, we didn't do much. We just shot, shot balls and watched some film and then got back after it yesterday a little bit. Um, our guys... Um, most indicated they didn't go to bed before 2.30 or 3 uh, the night before, just trying to get back on central time. And um, then again today, I'm tired. I'm tired. So I know that they all were, and now we can kind of regroup and and get back to bed tonight and try to get this thing uh, back on, on cycle. But that's the difficulty of going to Maui. Um, thought our bench was great. Uh, I thought we got a nice lift from – from our bench today, and and uh, um, you know we knew we hadn't seen a ton of matchup zone. We worked on it a little bit yesterday. I thought we did some some nice things early, um, especially from the three point line. We got a little crazy there uh, shooting them, where we missed Adonis and and Georgie. Uh, but um, um, you know, all in all, it's 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 a win, and now we can uh, get ready for. Uh, you know, a quick turnaround with the Tuesday game in South Bend. <clears throat> Questions for Coach? Raise your hand there, too. Coach, you guys put up 33s today, um, tied a single-game school record, making 16, I think. Um, are you comfortable um, putting up that many three balls in a game when they're going in, or is it just? No, I think that's a little bit about who we are. Um, I really, really like it when they go in. I mean. But but I think that's the one thing that uh, that we know we're 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 going to be that that team a little bit and and we've got a lot of guys who can make them and uh, um, you know I, I I like that concept I think we have to find a little better balance throwing the ball into the paint uh, you know Georgie proved in Maui he can score in the paint uh, and um, you know Adonis can can score uh, he's still playing his way you know kind of back into condition but. Um, you know, and then I think we saw a little bit from Samba today. Samba's a very talented kid offensively, and uh, we saw that saw little 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 bits and pieces of that today. 
Yeah, I was right just about to ask you about Sam. How valuable was it to get him some minutes right now? Because going forward, you might not know if he'll be able to get on the court. Well, I wouldn't say that. I think he's got a chance to get on the court. And I think he's a guy that gets better every single day in practice. It's been, for him, it's, it's more on the defensive side uh, of just understanding positioning, help side, de uh, help side defense. Um, you know, you, you look at our numbers statistically, and we're, we've been excellent in post defense. Uh, most of that credit goes to Georgie. Uh, and I think he's he's starting to figure some things out there as well. But, uh, um, you know, my, my, my confidence in him offensively is very high. I mean, he can do some things. Uh, and then he, he can help us protect the rim, uh, you know, blocking shots and, and away from the ball when he, when he's, uh, when he gets going. So, uh, yeah, he's getting better every day. Jim and then Rob. <clears throat> Coach, going back to your comment about, you know, the team and everything being tired, was that due to maybe the, the various lineup changes that you had today, not letting one person stand there for very long just because of the, you know, being tired from the long trip? Well, I, I, you know, and again, I'm not making any, taking anything, anything away from Mississippi Valley. I'm not. I, you know, I felt pretty confident we were in good shape to, to win the game. So it was a good opportunity to. You know, I played Iowa more than I wanted to, uh, but again, I thought. And let me mention, Iowa's performance was dominant, and he didn't score the basketball. Uh, you know, nine assists. Uh, did he have a turnover? No turnovers, and nine rebounds. Uh, we've really been challenging him to get on the glass. But, yeah, I, I thought it was an opportunity to get some guys some minutes. It was also a guy, you know, an opportunity to, um, you know, get some extended run for a few guys. And Samba was one of those guys. And, um, you know, I felt pretty good about, uh, you know, the minutes. I was really concerned about, you know, A.J. Uh, we rode A.J. really, really hard in Maui. We asked him to guard high, high-level win guys. Um, every night, and he played great, and he rebounded, and he scored, and I knew he was he was a little tired, so his minutes were probably the one I was the most concerned about. Rob, the flip side of attempting 30 from the arc is that you didn't get to the line; you only attempted eight free throws. But I assume that doesn't concern you if you make 16 threes. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, we I want to get to the line. We we got to drive the ball better. We've got to drive the ball more, and and. Uh, um, you know, that's a little more difficult against a zone. Uh, but, um, yeah, we've got we've to improve in that area. Brent. When you, when you play Georgie and, and um, Adonis together at the beginning of the game, does it change a little bit defensively what you can do because the amount of pressure you want to put out um, on the ball and uh, with them trying having to guard in space maybe a little yeah, bit? Yeah, and, I, you know, we've, we've worked really hard on not extending Adonis. Getting him, you know, he he wants to be like everybody else, and and he can't be. So we've worked very very hard on on not extending him much above the top of the key, if it, if at all, just letting his guy catch, uh, and that's okay. Uh, but um, you know, his his uh, uh, Georgie's got unbelievable feet. Georgie can we could switch very easily one through four with Georgie because uh, his feet are so good and he can move. He's got great length. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's um, it causes us to do a few things different, Brad, with with um, with AD. But, uh, you know, ball screen stuff wise, we're, we've we've made that adjustment pretty easily. After the kind of tournament that Kipper had, was it kind of how important was it to get him going in a game like this today? Well, I think the one thing with Kip is, you know, it's uh, I want him to play as hard as he can play. And when the ball goes in, the ball goes in. And you know, Kipper, we all know Kipper's a guy who can make make baskets, and 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 I take that for granted. I do. I I, I think the fact that you know Kipper's proven he can be a double digit rebound guy in big games uh, is something I'm looking for. I, you know, we scored 86 points today, uh, you know, fairly easily, and yet I, I I keep wanting more for Kip. I want I want seven eight rebounds. I want him to be. That vocal piece defensively that he that he can be, and uh, he had a tough tournament in Maui, and and we had a lot of conversations with him. He's, um, you know, he's gonna be fine. He's just got to simplify things, and and uh, you know, it all starts with 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 hard work. It looked like early in the 
in the first half when they were matching you guys a little bit for Bucket, you were going to let your guys maybe figure some things out on the court with, without interjecting much. Was that a plan of yours? And mm -hmm. if so, how did they respond mm -hmm. to that? Yeah, I think it was, like like I said, I you know, you've, I almost expected the slow start. Just simply, I mean, just you guys don't understand when you haven't made that trip, how taxing that trip is. And, uh, you know, I think if you look, I don't think anybody else is playing today. Uh, it is a hard trip. I knew there was going to be some moments that, you know, and I figured it to start. And, uh, uh, yeah, we made a few shots, and, and we didn't like very we, – we had no defensive pop. I mean, we didn't play – anywhere close defensively to the way we played in Maui for any stretch. But that's, um, you know, I thought, again, I thought our bench did a great job of kind of interjecting some life and some, some pop. And DeMonte gave us a nice lift. And, and uh, you know, Allen came in and did a couple things. If we get Allen to quit turning the dog on ball over, uh, you know, he had a nice game. But, uh, yeah, so I, I'm not pleased, but, but it was expected.